All right, Coach, 2020 season just around the corner. Uh, what's the team's focus here between now and uh, the season opener in three weeks? That's the hard part is you got three weeks away, 21 days, you got a couple days off in there. Uh, the main objective right now is just to see as many live pitches and live at-bats as possible. Uh, just because guys have had a month, month and a half off now from seeing live pitching. So you've got to get back to the grind in a hurry because the better you're going to be the first weekend is as much live pitching as you can see. And you never know with the weather of how much weather you're going to get in between now and then. So any day like this that you can get out there and, and try to get some innings in, that's what you want to do. What are some of the, like, the team goals this season? Absolutely want to finish in the top three in the conference. Of course, you'd always like to win it, but at least finish in the top three. Uh, going out of Conference Carolinas into the sack, you want to finish on a strong note and leave Conference Carolinas kind of with a bad taste in their mouth a little bit, uh, just with some of those teams. Got a lot of history with Conference Carolinas and uh, looking to have a good year, finish in the top three, make a run in the tournament, and hopefully try to make a region. Any uh, players that stick out in your mind that you think we're going to have a standout year? We got we got a few. Uh, we we got some fresh, some good freshmen coming in uh, that we're expecting a lot out of, especially on the mound wise with Anthony Alejandro, JJ Shelton, um, and we got a, got a lot of key returners in Eric Molinax and Marcus Johnson, uh, Michael Schultz, Jordan Adcox on the mound. Uh, so we've got more depth this year than we've than we've had in the past couple years on the mound. And then on the offensive side of it, Kyle Stravink is healthy now uh, since he had sh shoulder surgery uh, last year, missed all of last year. Uh, so he's a big asset behind the plate. Uh, you got Ben Huber, who started every day as a freshman for us last year, who's back, who's going to do a lot on the mound for us this year. And then also you got Brian Forbes, who's a junior college All-American this year. Uh, so expecting big things out of him as well. All right, Coach, thank you for your time, and good luck this season. Appreciate it.